<laughs> Indeed. 60 second secrets. The KISS principle, keep it simple stupid. One of the most simple concepts and constructs that you can add into your strength programming and your lifestyle as a coach. This means don't envelop yourself completely into the research or get lost in exactly what a theorem says. With a clear cut idea, know exactly what you're gonna do. Keep end view clarity and keep it simple. You don't need every apparatus and hookup in the world running to a computer to tell you that your athlete is getting better. Keep it on simple metrics, run simple analysis, but don't fall in line to the path of least resistance. Increase difficulty as your knowledge increases, surroundings, equipment, and environment. Do your best to not try to reinvent the wheel. Make sure you fall back on the fundamental principles such as post-activation potentiation. Literally have them squat and then go jump. Vershansky did it way back in the 70s and he had no idea the concepts of post-activation potentiation. He just used what his athletes provided, what his environment gave him, and stuck to what worked. If you've got a nine-year-old figure skater, they don't necessarily have to be back squatting your body weight. They need to be able to handle their bodies in space because part of their point system is their ability to hold their body static in space. So they benefit from body weight back squatting or they benefit from static isometric holds in position. Always fall back to what you know and keep it simple.